guys you guys are welcome to this lecture today in this lecture we'll be talking about the issue rectal fossa which is a very important um lecture and anytime you are talking about the perineal uh okay uh, anatomy of the perineum you know that issue rectal fossa is a very uh good essay question that could actually be dished out to you okay personally i saw the issue rectal fossa question in my first medical professional exams so in this question is to discuss the anatomy of the issue rectal fossa We'll be talking about where the issue rectal fossa is located. We'll be talking about the boundaries of the issue rectal fossa. I'll be talking about the contents of the issue rectal fossa. Or the contents of the issue rectal fossa. I might just say in this lecture though, uh, but I think I have a special lecture for that. Okay, so the question is, this calls the anatomy of the issue rectal fossa. And before us, is the issue rectal fossa? That's when we are talking about the two of them. Okay, when you are talking about one is the issue rectal fossa. I what can you actually say from this? You could see that the issue rectal fossa is uh the medial border is by the levator anal muscle, and this other muscle, these are the external anal sphincters. Okay, the apex is upward, this side pointing up is upward, while the base is downward. Okay, the medial border is by the what? Obturator internus muscle. And this fascia right here, what do you call it? The obturator fascia. Now, in the obturator fascia, is it the pudendal canal or the alcox canal? Okay, so everything nice, everything good, guys. Let's move into this lecture. So, the issue rectal fossa, more commonly uh, or correctly called the issue anal fossa, is a facial lined wedged space one on each side of the anal canal we're talking about this is one on each side one on each side we're talking about the two that's where you say the issue rectal fossa okay so it is situated between the skin of the anal region and the pelvic diaphragm its base is directed downwards towards the surface while the apex is directed upwards i told you guys right this is the issue rectal fossa all right can you see that the apex is upward all right why the base is downward the medial border is the words levator anal muscle and the words external anal sphincter uh the lateral border is the words obturator internus muscle and the words obturator fascia that white stuff you see here okay now obturator fascia opens up to form the pudenda canal that's how you relate anatomy. You don't cram anatomy, bro. You don't get your head blown up. All right. So now, just you guys already know, but just moving through the, the borders. You see that the medial wall of the issue rectal fossa slopes upwards and laterally. And it is formed by external anal sphincter. This is external anal sphincter. I already cycled it. Then levator ani, okay, which is in the upper part. This is levator ani, okay. It sends upward and away, upward and laterally. That's why they are saying upward and lateral. So how about the lateral wall of the issue rectal fossa? It is formed by the what? Obturator internus muscle. Obturator internus muscle. And this fascia right here is the obturator uh, fascia. All right, obturator fascia opening up to form the pudenda canal or the alcox canal. All right, so that's it. About the anatomy of the issue rectal fossa. Right. So see you guys in the next tutorial. And bye for now.